It's I'm Simon. Hi. And I'm Karen. And we are I do canals. Where are we, Karen? We're at Edstone Aqueduct. Where's that near? Wooten something. Can't try and say it. No. Wooten woo 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 woo. Not saying it. Wooten Warwin. That's the one. Yeah. Just a few miles up from uh, Stratford Avon on the Stratford Canal. And this aqueduct, along with two others that we're going to go and see today, are really unique insofar as the towpath is below the water level. The water here is four feet nine inches deep. It's eight feet nine inches across. And uh, it was engineered by William Whitmore, the uh, engineer, British engineer, and was built in 1816 or completed in 1816. It spans a, a road, a minor road, there's a stream just beyond, which is really swollen. We'll get a look at that. Then there's the North Warwickshire railway line. And there was also the now disused Alcester railway line. So it's just the track bed where it used to be. It's, um, it's, a, it's a windy day. Yes. We, we've had the drone up to have a look. We've put it over the side here to look at the, the wrought iron work of it. It struggled, didn't it? It did. So if some of the footage is a bit like this. Apologies. It, it, was, it doesn't seem bad here. We're quite sheltered here. But as soon as you get up the top, or put a drone up more than about 15 feet. It's windy. At least it's not raining. Shh. They might be listening. We don't want any rain. So we're going to go and have a look at the other two aqueducts as well. They're all within a four mile stretch. Yep. So we haven't got a lot of driving. No. Not like last week on the Royal Military Canal. Two days and I think we did about 180 miles back and forth altogether. We went all over. It was good though, wasn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. So we're going to go and do that. We're going we're gonna to do a little weather dance and hopefully the weather will be kind to us. I'm not doing a weather dance. Oh, maybe I will. Oh, that's going to work, isn't it? Bloody hell's bells. Okay, then. So, uh, forget the dance. As I said, the, the aqueduct is an early form of a prefabricated structure. It is 35 cast iron sections bolted together. There's some big, chunky bolts. We're going to have a look at those in a moment. And the whole thing is 498 feet from end to end. It's quite a remarkable thing, to be honest. It's, um, I, I never get tired of looking at the engineering feats that were built by British engineers at a time when the world was exploding with innovation and creation of amazing structures. Absolutely love it. Never get tired of it. This is where the Edstone Aqueduct crosses the North Warwickshire Railway Line. Back in the day of steam, this will have been steam locomotives up and down this railway line. And there was a point beneath the bridge where they could stop and draw water from a purpose-made pipe and tap function uh, to fill up and carry on the way. The Alcester branch line also went underneath the aqueduct. We can only guess that it was either there or somewhere to the left over here, because just past there, the aqueduct comes to an end. So which aqueduct is this one, Karen? This is the Wooten Warren aqueduct at Wooten Warren. You said Wooten Warren twice without falling over it. I did! Really? I got it right! Not Yay! bad, not bad. Bit of practice. Yeah. So it's a little over 60 feet long and supported by brick abutments at either end. 
there are three brick piers supporting four spans in total over the A3400 through Wooten Warwen. Engineered by William Whitmore and very similar to the Edstone Aqueduct and built in 1813 by the Stratford Canal Company. Designed the same as the Edstone, just not as long. Deep canal, we stood below the water level. I think it's about 8.9 feet across. You're five foot two, aren't you? I am. So if I chuck you in and you kind of hold on to here and... Try it, mate. Try it. Oh, it's only four feet nine. But I haven't got my arm, you, you, Your water would be to there. You'd be all right. We'll get you a straw. But I can't swim. I promise not to hold you under. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we've got one more aqueduct to go. We but have? before we go there, over that way is an unusual bridge only found on the Stratford Avon Canal. We're going to go and have a look at that. This bridge uh, is a type of bridge that can only be found on the Stratford upon Avon Canal. And it's a little bit different insofar as before it was repaired and renovated, this iron railing was mirrored this side and there was a split right down. There was a split right through the bridge. So a horse towing a boat would come up here the rope would get threaded through the gap round a little bobbin which came off automatically as the horse went walk down and on its way, swapping towpath sides. This one's been concreted over. There's a wooden railing which wasn't there in the day. I, I guess it's for the farm use over here and it needs to be substantial enough to take whatever vehicles are going back and forth over. There are quite a few more of these further up the canal at Kingswood Junction which is more or less where the two canals meet in the middle, the North Stratford and the South Stratford Canal. We're currently on the south. And also at Kingswood is a short cut called the Kingswood Cut that allows you to transfer from the, the stratford uh, Ponhaven Canal to the Grand Union Canal. We're going to go and have a look at those bridges up there in a future video. I think I've got a little bit that we recorded earlier last year. Well, and if we have, we'll put that in. If not, catch it next time. And also, the north side of Kingswood Junction is Lapworth Locks. Big flight of locks, spread well spread out. And there's two of these in really good condition, one at the bottom, one at the top. We're going to have a look at that too. Absolutely stunning stuff. You can see in this selection of images the split that allows the tow rope to pass through the bridge. The horse would pass from one side to the other with the rope going through the split. The tow path would thread onto and off the bridge with the rope passing around the bobbin to prevent tangles and snags. Brilliant. In 2003, local artist Stella Carr worked with a local Wooten Warwin Youth Club to create a series of cast iron plaques depicting local scenes around the canal and the Edstone and Wooten Warwin aqueducts. They included dragonfly, canal workers, the aqueducts, bridges and bridge numbers and other scenes. I think they're rather good. We were on our way to the last aqueduct at Yarningale when we passed this very narrow and low bridge over the canal. We just had to stop and have a look. Whilst we were there, we noticed the culverts were working overtime to cope with the flood water from the recent very heavy rains. This culvert's hard at work at letting water through from above the lock. We've had so much rain in the last couple of weeks that uh, the, uh, the canals have got to shed it and this is how they do it. When the, when the locks are in use, they discharge a lot of water, sort of 20,000, 30,000 gallons a pop. Um, but when the locks aren't in use and, the, and it keeps raining, culverts are the means by which they can let that water travel downwards. Aqueduct number three. Yep, this is Yarningale. Yarningale, where is it? Wooten Warren. I just wanted to hear her say it again. She's getting quite good actually, to be honest. So Yarningale Aqueduct is the shortest of the three. And today it is made just like the other day, out of wrought iron. Originally, this was a little wooden one, but it got washed away in 1834 by a massive flood. Local ironworks, Horsley Ironworks, rebuilt it in exactly the same style and method as the other two aqueducts. So, um, much shorter, 42 feet in length, stream running below it, 
we're just this side of lock 34 and bridge 44A, which is another one of those little horse bridges with a split beneath, but that, that's been concreted over as, as well. Um, but we, we've had a, a nice day for Aqueduct, haven't we? Yeah. What are we planning next? What, what are we going to do next? Well, we can't tell them, can we, really? Because well, we, we could do. We could tell them one of them. We've got Kingswood Junction, which is on the same canal here a bit further up. But we, we've just booked a month. We haven't a month? booked a month. We booked a week. I wish it was I a month. I didn't want to tell her it was a month. It's a week. We booked a week. <laughs> I don't mind a month. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I can't afford a month. No. So we're going to get a week away. And, and we're going to try and cover three locations, three videos on that week away. It'll be some and of our early videos that we've it, done. One of them is from a really early video that yeah. we did, which was okay, but didn't cover as much detail. Uh, and, and, you know, we didn't have decent microphones. So it was, it was a learning curve. So we're going to go and do that one again. And there's two more locations if we can fit them in. Uh, but also we were thinking about another video, weren't we? We're, yeah. we, we've ha we haven't done a video about us and why we do this. So we might be doing that one. So it might be Kingswood. The, the junction at Kingswood, or it might be might be us. Who knows? We'll we'll, uh, we'll let you know. We'll let you know next week. So um, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like our video. And like our video. Thanks again. See you soon.